Three, two, one. Hi guys, and welcome to our first, our initial setup of our PS4 and how you can set yours up when you get one. So we plugged it in, our PS4 is on. You just have to tap on the very top of the uh, console and you can see it's telling us to plug in our DualShock 4 via micro USB. So we're going to do that. And press the PlayStation button. All right, so we're given languages to select English. So I'm a little closer for you guys here. Set up internet connection. Yes. Gonna do wireless connection here. I could do a LAN connection. There we go. LAN cable is plugged in. Yeah, it is connected. All right, let's do this again. Set up PlayStation camera. Nope. Uh, Eastern time. That is the correct time. Accept. Start now. Funny thing, I can't remember my login for my PSN account. So there we have it. So that is what you're looking at right now. This is the main PlayStation Hub. You can see what's new. Go to notifications. Sorry. Uh, playroom. Sign into PSN for latest information. Um, we've got the browser. That's the camera, which live from PlayStation broadcast, which I don't have the camera. Internet browser. Start downloads. I move up here. Very top. PlayStation Store. Notifications. Friends, messages, parties, profiles, trophies, settings, power off. So the system is much cleaner. You can see it's more responsive altogether. The setup process is really not that hard. Um, definitely need, do need a download. So I'm going to do that system software update. There we go. Version 1.50. Hit next. Make sure you do this when you get your console. An update. So this is going to take some time. So we're just going to jump through this update and continue this video. So we are back. The update took maybe about uh, a minute or two to download, and about five or six in total just to set up and continue. So we really didn't take that long. Press the PS button. Now, dual are actually connected. Who's using the controller? User one or new user? And we can sign into our PSN account. So we're going to do that. All right. So after trying many times, uh, I logged in. And I'm going to accept terms of agreement. That's the very next thing that comes up. You also have an option at the bottom that says uh, health and privacy uh, uh, terms. Jeez. It's early in the morning, so... I need some sleep, but I will be chugging along. I'm going to play some kill zone after this, so I will try and throw that out for you. So that is my um, PSN account to name, Thunder01. So if you want to add me on PSN, go ahead. Um, all right. Who can see me? My friends, friends of friends, anyone. So you all can find me there. We'll hit next. Share your PSN activities. Uh, you can share with friends. Yes. Uh, videos I watch, trophies I earn. Go ahead. So you go through all these things that basically set up your PSN for you, as well as how you 
will use the um, you know the system in terms of game. We actually got stuck trying to sign into PSN again, and uh, PSN is down for maintenance. So I guess a lot of people are trying to get on with the PS4 uh, tonight. Uh, so that's interesting. But so a lot of things in the PS4, of course, are tied to PSN and online network. So I can't sign in as we mentioned uh, because PSN is down. Uh, so I was actually kicked out. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, so I can't go into PlayStation Store. And so everything is tied to PSN like that, including notifications, telling me my invitations, my game alerts, downloads, and uploads, uh, as well as my friends list, which of course is tied to PSN. So we will do probably another video once this gets up and show you what PSN looks like and all the online functionalities of the PS4. Um, we have messages, which again, tied to PSN. Uh, party profiles you can go into, but you still need to sign into your PSN account your trophies, which tie to PSN, and then you have your main settings. Now in the settings here, you've got user guide. And one thing you'll note is that the PS4 is much smoother. This is much faster than the PS3 by a healthy dose. So you've got data and ha handling. Uh, you've got PSN information sign in. You've got notifications, login settings, parental controls. You can change that. Application data management save, so you can also download, go online and download your system storage, but you need to sign a PSN for that, of course. System storage management shows you how things are stored. So I have 409 gigabytes available, uh, a free space. Uh, I've really not installed anything because I really can't because I can go to PSN. System soft uh, update tells me of the latest version. My network settings, so I can go through that. Sound and screen. Uh, audio output settings, HDMI out, I can go through some of those things. PlayStation app connections, I can use the PlayStation app, I have to sign to PSN. PS Vita connections, video playback settings, 1080p, display closed caption, devices, what devices I have con connected to my PlayStation 4, time, language, power save settings, and system, we have system here. So you can take a look at the system, automatic downloads and uploads, system information, and I can change the name of my PlayStation 4. Operate voice, error, intellectual, uh, initialization. I This is where you go to either restore to default setting, delete user, initialize your PS4. So you can basically wipe it out. Initialize quickly delete data from system storage, initialize PS4, method allow third parties to retrieve data or full, completely delete data system, and this PS4 metal takes several hours. So that's that. Restore the factory default, restores everything back to the factory default settings. So you get the idea with the uh, PS4. Now, you're wondering where uh, um, the playroom, of course, this needs to go into PSN, but you're wondering where your game goes. So I'm going to pop in Killzone just to show you and then I'll do some gameplay. And you can check out some of that gameplay video. So the uh, disc goes in. You can see that there in the top right hand corner is spinning. Taking its sweet time. And there it is. So that's Killzone Shadowfall. And that's how uh, we're going to jump into some gaming. So right now, PSN is down. I, I can't show you any of the online uh, connectivities of the PlayStation. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But I'll put this up. I'll do some game uh, gameplay. Try and record some gameplay video if I can. Um, my game capture has been messing up. I'm waiting for a new one from Hapag. So we shall see. If you guys have any questions or any comments about the PS4, uh, its um, interface, uh, which you can see is much faster, much smoother. But, of course, everything is tied to PSN. Let us know. We will show you also the internet browser, uh, as you can see, inside of PSN tomorrow. Uh, when we get on. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and uh, always enjoy your entertainment.